Greetings, unsettled souls. Prepare to be astonished. And astonished you will be. You've made it to a sixth audition of Melatonin Mondays. And I want to let you know that Christelle and I decided last week that we were not very happy with one little thing. The fact that absolutely nobody tuned into our happy show. Christelle, how many times do we keep hearing that we never cover anything positive? All the time. And when we do, what do we nobody get? Nobody views. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. We don't get like less than 100 views. He's got probably less than 50 views on the story about the person who saved the endangered animals. So, we have brought you what you wanted. I think it's what they want, isn't it? We hope. We brought you death, misery. We brought you somebody dying when he was going to have fun with his friends and likely one of the most fun days he's had all year long. It was ruined for him by a bad case of death. So, uh, Christelle, is that what you think they want? All right. Are you, you ready with those sound effects? Here we go. Now, I actually wrote this one. I wrote it for the Conservative Daily Post. I'm a journalist there, so... Uh, I may be reading it to you verbatim because there's no sense in me trying to word it another way since I've already worded it one way this way. Ah, uh, Thrillseeker visits theme park adventure. Tragedy strikes after visit to a haunted house. In Ohio, the legend of Crybaby Bridge lives on in Doylestown. I wrote, those who fish near a certain road, including this author, often see carloads of people arrive near the crabby owner. He is a real son of a... Yeah. Crabby owner's farmhouse where they park their vehicle on the bridge and wait. According to legend, I wrote, when this is done, the ghost of the departed mother and her infant are said to appear. The claim remains that the anguished mother's ghost will haunt in some way the car, the people, etc., the area. When this is done, they shut the car off and they wait to see if she's going to show up. Well, nothing has ever been posted online, and I've never seen anything either, that the deceased parent actually shows up. The admittedly morbid thrill is still there for countless ghost hunters. Well, Hong Kong is about to have its own piece of legend-ripe ground after a moving coffin killed a thrill-seeker in a house. It's according to the Sun News. Uh, did you hear about this, Christelle? I believe you told about Told me about it whenever you wrote the story. Uh, oh, that's easy for her to say. But there are there are the, uh, the introduction to the haunted house in which it happened at. Um, waiting for Christelle and her remarkable sound effects here. Twenty-one-year-old Schwing was enjoying buried alive, a haunted attraction at Hong Kong's Ocean Park, where the frights were meant to be fiction. However, the horror was only too real when the attendee was found unconscious five minutes after he entered the attraction, according to Ocean Park executive Matthias Lee. Christelle is being attacked by the fleas that are in our studio. The park expressed a deep sorrow about the tragedy that happened. Those attending the amusement park's Halloween extravaganza were to experience being buried alive, alone, fighting their way out of the dark and eerie grave. Most theme parks and similar venues I wrote have such haunted attractions yearly all over the world. Guests are supposed to enter a coffin. This would be so much fun. Would you do this, Christelle? Probably. Ghosts are supposed, guests, so did I say ghosts, are supposed to enter the coffin. Was turned into a slide. It seems that the new version, this is a new version I wrote of the old spook house rides that were popular during America's golden age of haunts and fairs and carnivals. A little secret for uh, viewers out there Cedar Point and Sandusky, one of their skeleton keys could have a possible coffin ride. Ooh, there you go. That's the skeleton. They are different in the, in the, in the uh, Cedar Point haunted house. We'll have to talk about that when we're done. They are, they, well, I can say it real quick. You have to have a special key to get into those. They're not free with the park automatically, are they? No. I wrote that fans of the genre were told that they would be taken through a rocky maze filled with dreadful rules. Sadly, Schwing was hit by a coffin inside of the buried alive themed haunted house as the attraction morbidly lived up to its title. The man lost his life because he was reported to have entered the house safely, but roamed into a restricted area, and the machinery that makes the ride operate is what led to his death after he did so, reports tell us. Now, 
Oh, yeah, there you can hear the uh, the sirens coming together. Now, you work in a haunted house, Christelle, up at uh, Hollow Weekends. Um, are there restricted areas there as well? Yes, there are. Um, is it possible that you could be killed by a coffin slide machine if you venture into the restricted area? No. But if you could meet another demise? You could. I see. And you're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. I guess I just called you a horse. The man lost his arm. I already read that. Schwing is believed to have entered the area of mechanical operations that was open to visitors and was hit by a mechanical part, the statement from Ocean Park says. He has friends with a person he was, excuse me, friends with a person who worked at the Swire Group subsidiary and was enjoying an amusement park as part of an annual staff organized by the companies, reports South China Morning Post. Uh, there's a lot of uh, people that come with their uh, companies and businesses at Cedar Point. I've seen quite a few of them. I know Christelle has. The government of Hong Kong has moved to close the attraction until further notice. Now, do you think that's fair, Christelle? In your haunted house, if somebody roamed into an area where they shouldn't be and got mauled by, let's say, a mauling machine, you guys have a mauling machine? No. Oh. All right. Well, the wood chipper that you have there. If he was to have fallen into the... Is that the fall of the park or the person who roamed into the restricted area? Unfortunately because of Cedar Point's family amusement park, it would fall under Cedar Point for not taking care of the restricted zones. And then, well, the people working in the haunted house would then be yelled at for making sure that proper regulations was in that. So if you want to make the actors really mad in real life and to actually maybe really kick your ass, this would be a good way to do it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, all jokes aside, guys, uh, we're, we're being uh, playful, but Cedar Point is an amazing place, one of our favorite places in the whole world. Oh, yes. It's, it much. seems a bit harsh, considering that the haunt nor the park were to blame as he roamed out of areas where they warned revelers not to go, I wrote. This harkens back to the story of the family that last week perished when falling into a volcano after entering a restricted area. Um, Conservative Daily Post, I wrote that article as well. Just look, killed by a volcano, the Gange, D-I-G-A-N-G-I, -G -G you'll find it. Only a few years ago, unfortunately, Cedar Point in America, who was has a yearly haunt called Hollow Weekend, we've talked about it, suffered a death from an underhanging coaster called the Raptor uh, when that struck a well-like teacher in the head and killed him as he too entered a restricted area to retrieve his hat. Um, and as a side note, the uh, Cedar Point, as a, as a consequence to this happening, they ended up heightening the fences and making it a little bit more difficult for yeah. you to get in. And, and again, I mean, Christelle and I, I've been going here longer than she has. Her and I have been going for six years. It never crossed our mind to climb the fence the way it was before, when a roller coaster is hanging above your head, did it? Never. If there's a fence there, common sense would tell you not to go there. Well, then again, America's kind of dumbed down, isn't it? Yeah, it's happened badly. So I wrote at the end here, no amusement park, resort, or even haunted house can prevent people from being hurt when they don't obey the rules. Humans are a curious lot. Still, to avoid any more of us being put into real coffins while having the time of our lives, keep this story in mind. Those in Hong Kong will for a very long time. That, friends, is what you get. I gave you a happy story. Nobody clicked on it, so we gave you the saddest story ever. Somebody having the time of their lives died. I hope you're all happy. You can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com. That would make me happy. Uh, you can do so through PayPal. Every penny you give to me goes through a better show. The correct views at hotmail.com. Good night, friends. God bless.